enjoyed being in the city so far, checking out some like new food places. It's definitely it's definitely a lot of pressure, but uh, I'm super lucky to have this position. Um, there's no specific strategy that we're utilizing. I think the only thing that we just have like advantage is like experience. Um, I think having experience compared to everybody else, they're gonna people are gonna be uncomfortable, um, not confident, stuff like that. So so far, I love Sweden. All the buildings, the architecture, it all looks so nice, and the average person in Sweden is just like a beautiful person. I don't. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. And they're also really tall, so I'm getting like towered over by everybody. So apparently yesterday, one of the players that competed in the tournament um, got tested positive for COVID. They did a rapid test and a CPR test. Or no, PCR test, not CPR. You guys think you're funny, huh? CPR. <laughs> Change of plans, we're not actually going to go to the same boot camp as everybody else. Right now we're just getting some good breakfast, some wonderful Swedish breakfast, and we're going to head to the boot camp and just get back to practicing. So we're excited. Is there a solid mouse? Although I have no idea. So I don't use must be work. We're at Space Gaming Land Center in Stockholm. Um, so far, the experience has been really good. Well, today, we're just practicing doing scrims, and then uh, we'll be here for like probably six hours. 12 teams so far from the scrim. Huh? Only 12 teams have signed up for scrims so far. <laughs> you can't even get scrims at a boot camp, bro. Right, we're about to jam out. Hmm? What are we listening to? 2014 EDM plays? 2013. 2013, oh, okay. <laughs> Um, just flown in from England, we're here at the Space Gaming Land Centre. Um, you know, I've covered the, the Apex guys since the minute they joined uh, TSM. I'm stoked but also pretty nervous to meet the guys, you know, I've covered their careers. Yeah, I'm pumped, excited and nervous, so. <laughs> What's up? You're not even going to stand for me! <laughs> <laughs> uh, how you doing? Good, how are you? Yeah, no. good. What's up, my dude? What's up, brother? What's up? You guys fried yesterday, though. Yeah, it was pretty easy. Getting the lamb buff back again, is it? Or? Yeah. So swing left, look left, look left now! Okay, yeah. I need a boom. I'm putting the shit out of him on the right, look right, look right, crack! Pushing, give me dead, give me dead, on us! I'm dead. Okay, I'm dead. Stop cracked! Yeah, 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 Valkus one! Valkus one! Nice! What? I think if you're not ready by this point, when we're playing in two days, then you're just not ready at all. Today's our media day, and we're also doing our setups today with our PCs. So we're seeing our we're seeing the main stage for the very first time. And later today, we're gonna we're just gonna keep playing on our setups and get get warmed up on them. The plan for the rest of the day, I think everyone's gonna be playing at the like actual stage. I don't know how for how long or whatever, but um, that's just the plan for now. All right, so we're here at the Monster Lounge, which is basically where all media and staff are going to be based. Behind us is the big arena, which we're not allowed in at the moment, but that's where our players are going to be. I'm watching the guys from the big screens here, and uh, we've got media day in about 20 minutes. The Circle K got, we're trying this vitamin drink, refuel for the first game day tomorrow. You know, we got the good Oreos, chips, you know how it is, keeping it healthy. Our new sub that's pulling up is Dolphin. Hopefully we don't have to have a sub, hopefully none of us get COVID, but basically what happened is we had Graceful as our sub, but C9 ended up having a player get COVID, so they needed a sub, and I mean, at the end of the day, he has to do what's best for him. So getting a free spot to play on a team and making guaranteed money, you know, you can't really blame the guy. In the end, that means we got to pick up Dolphin now and fly him in make sure he's here to be ready. It's good that we at least have Dolphin on standby to be there for us, so thanks to him for doing that. <laughs> All right, well, I, think, I think everybody's negative, so you should be able to chill. Uh, what's up, everyone? My name is Dolphin. I'm here today uh, in case TSM needs a emergency sub. So I just flew in from Denmark, and I hope I'm not needed, but should, should it be the case, uh, I'll step in and help the, uh, the team as best as I can. 
So it's game day one. The players are on stage now, ready to kick off. It's 10 a.m., 12 hours of games. They've got to stay focused and, and, and locked in, but yeah, it's a tier 10 way of life. Uh, the guys have shown insane resilience in, since the minute that they've landed. You know, the CEO and his board of directors are, are ready to take home their, their third LAN event. So the games are literally about to go. Yeah, let, let's, let's, let's rock on. TSM have a lot on the line right now. This is the team that was able to take the very first LAN, the Invitational, and they have something to prove. The Dome's been used up, it's TSM you gotta versus be OpTic. Me. These are our two team friends that we're oh. looking at, but they're low, they're getting pinched from the back. TSM have the advantage right here. They're cleaning things up. Woo. Imperial Hal goes huge, gets skills down to 28 feet, and he gets taken out. OpTic Gaming eliminated oh. by TSM to kick off the eight point. No, they got five, they killed Scar as well. So that's the TSM now moving in for the opportunity. They were able to take out OpTic in the first game. They get the stick with no the shot, Arch Star. Al. TSM now can fully no send shot. it. They have the face breach that they really want to move TSM in here. TSM on top. The third party from TSM is played to perfection. I'm run for it. Mm. On you, on you, on you. Evan, just live, just live. Fuck, man. And that's going to be a seventh place finish from TSM. It's going to be 100. Yeah, I mean, historically, the boys have been pretty good at adapting. The lobbies are playing out really, really differently than uh, any of the scrim lobbies have. But at least they got top 10, so I'm sure they're not worried. They should be moving on to the winner's bracket. They'll definitely figure it out in the next group. I'm all right, I'm all right, I'm chilling. Rough first set, but uh, it's definitely more of an adaptation, I'd say. Like, after round two close, sometimes there was like 14 teams alive, which is ridiculous. And so now we're having to adapt to the lobbies dying way faster than we thought they would. Um, yeah, we're definitely, definitely not going to do the same, same things we've been doing. We're going to change that a little bit. And that's the black hole to hopefully send this fight out into space to never be discovered again. Imperial Hal cleans up one. He cleans up two. Unite is out, and TSM are back on top. Is it too late, though? They are just outside of qualifying for winners. So we're coming out of the last game. We're in a four-way tie for 21st place, and we need top 20 to qualify for the winner's bracket tomorrow. This game now is generally do or die. 12, but where's TSM? Leading the lobby with 18 points. They're on the outskirts, but they are on the high ground. They can push in, mirroring a team as they push as well, who's in front of them, but they're gonna take the gravity lift from Horizon. Oh, they can yeah, drop push. down on Hal's first. He's gonna need some help from Reps as well, and it's an early bubble. Verholtz finds the kill on his end, but they have secured a spot. They qualified, baby. I mean, look at the situation where I think they recognize they've Basically yesterday we had the first series of the tournament, I, think, I believe 15 hours, 18 games, which was really taxing, like everybody was dead by the end of the last series, and like the last three games we played were just horrible, but uh, we ended up getting the top 20, which is what we needed, so let's see how it goes today in the winner's bracket. Basically today we just have to get top 10 to move on to the finals. I'm feeling confident because we started off good yesterday. It was just like later on as the game, we played for so long and being so tired, like all those factors add up a lot. It ended up working out even though it was not the best of days. So, um, but, you know, there's six games right now. These fix six games can put them into the winner's bracket, uh, so not the winner's bracket, the finals immediately. And then they can have a, a well-earned rest. Of Absolutely. Yeah. You're doing such a good job with your Greek boy out there, Mr. Greek God himself. Here comes TSM, oh though. Their goodness. barrels get deleted immediately. They don't even have the chance to actually shoot the one that was right in front of Hal there. The EMP coming in, TSM under so much pressure on the low ground. I bubble in seven and I'm gonna res, okay? We're good, we're good now. They wasted everything. They would give you all everything. They're getting caught up here. Look here. Look, look below, look below. Valk, Valk, one, Valk is one, dead. There's the Valk now. What is he on the ground? There's it. I got him, I got him. TSM is salivating right now at the opportunity. Val gets quick res and he's back to the action. So just like that, TSM flies in. TSM connects for great shots and just like that, TSM farms up and gets himself four, five KP, and he's not done yet. Massive game from TSM. The black and white needed to do it. Backs against the wall. You gotta place top 10 if you wanna make it to the championship finals tomorrow. They're in a great spot too. Yeah. Where's four seven though? They're getting so much closer. Jordan to a top 10 finish. TSM, the pressure on them. Ref's down, Hal's killing LG. down, but Holtz has lost all of that armor inside of the Toxic Gas. Well, Luminosity, they're well, the ones buddy. losing the players and now losing the fight. Well, they're not going to stay out of the gas. Yeah. They could have secured themselves inside the Toxic Gas. They could have secured themselves inside the Toxic Gas. They'll be happy with their performance go today. Up. Oh, the game obviously looks like it can be said to be a defender. Oh, oh. the pressure for Slash. Oh, oh. 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 that's fine. We got fifth. TSM, have they done enough? We'll have to find out because they're they have. eliminated they now. Have. They're top seven. It's definitely enough points to qualify for tomorrow's final. Grand finals, baby.
Right now, I'm still like doubting us. Um, we haven't been like we've been bottom five of the top ten. It's, you know, it's important as a leader to like not let other things un like you know phase you or whatever. Um, we're gonna go in tomorrow just like we did in today, as if we'd never played the day before. We were the only team to ever win lands so far. There's been two lands, three if you include this one, but it's not over yet. We obviously want to keep the legacy going and prove that we're the best team still. So it definitely means a lot right now to win this one. Doing pretty good. Uh, we we just swapped our comps to uh, we swapped, swapped our comp to Caustic on both maps. We're already noticing like a significant improvement. It'd be absolutely amazing if we could carry on the TSM legacy of winning. So uh, right now this is like, I mean, pretty much pretty much my life. Uh, recently just led up to this moment. So now uh, considering how much of the mountain is on the north side of TSM and Team Liquid right now. TSM have just decided to push in straight onto Liquid. Were they ready for it? It didn't seem like it. The bubble was already up as well. And there was Nocturnal. How with the shot for Holsto though, with getting the downs. He's got two. It's only Liquid got one player left. No. Only 15 players left remaining here in round five, but there's not much cover. Only terrain, only rocks. As you said, TSM, their positioning here is quite great. Straight through the Watson fences. Nice spray from Hal. Maybe another one. Why not? He is feeling bloodthirsty right now for TSM. Feels like they might be coming to blow soon. Meanwhile, Empire oh, on the up. bottom. You have TP. We might yes, have to I do. I don't know. I'm going to bomb. I'm going to bomb right away. We're going to climb over. Are we doing? Are we doing? Play on me now. Play on me now. They're fighting each other. They're fighting each other. You have fights. I have 34. 35 bullets. 34 bullets. Optics, Skittle Cakes is down, so it's Ranchers though for Holst. RTSM now gonna push on to Team Empire. Oh, they have a Focus this guy! Focus the guy out of the way! I knocked him! Fantastic taking two squads at once. Hal just goes in. Hal in a 1v1 with two plaques down, but Holst trying to stay alive as well. And cleans up Team Empire! Oh, we can hear them popping off from here, the energy. Holy we crap, we come back, back, baby. Let's go, Jordan. Oh, Spent having no practice on Costa, trying to adapt to this lobby, and we can't even join him in with Costa. But no, Verhulst puts himself in that spot here. Verhulst got down. He's trying to make a play, but he should be okay. Yes, oh, he can play. He got a knock. He got oh. a knock. Oh, now he can move in. He actually, that was crazy. Bro, was immediately diving back in. This is insane. TSM pushing the res came through. They're all in shambles. Cleave goes down. How oh. gonna clean up? Oh. 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 Hal flanks wide right, misses the first, misses the second, but his teammates do the rest. Let's go. <laughs> Apex North versus. TSM. We're now in match point. As Karan Poo is above with high ground, Caustic ult oh, coming! No! It's about to get a little bit crazy as Karan Poo is doing such a good job. No Caustic on TSM and they are just getting melted. But somehow they're winning the fight. Ish, all up to one last alive. TSM goes out. Nah, we got it. Of all the teams to win it, I'm fine with Ray Take this entire victory! LG is out! After gave his skittle cakes, goes out as well! Zero's oh. gonna do it! Wide left flank! And the just like that! Reignite is gonna do it! They are your champions! Australia comes all the way to Europe and wins! Unfortunately, we had a really slow start. Had some pretty bad rotates. I think that's honestly what costed us in the end. And whenever we have a really good start, or like even just an okay start, we always keep that momentum going, it yeah. feels like. Once we ended up getting that win, like we really felt the momentum going. And we started racking up points, ready to fucking win. Some crazy stuff happened that somehow yeah. Rig was able to win the way they did. Props yeah. to them. Well, we were just, I think next time that we don't we don't want to play things that we don't practice. Yeah. Because we're like we were doing things that we never really did, like you know, rotating really early. No, I guess we did it because of qualifiers, like but in finals that you can't do that. You have to play like whatever you're given, and you know you can't win every single game, but. We just forced it too hard and we just lost so many points. Our early games, yeah, we just, exactly what he said, we forced it too hard. I feel like now I can kind of view, like, every time I play, like, ranked and whatnot, I can kind of, like, view how I improve with, like, a land mindset instead of how I normally would play. And, like, this is, like, such a good learning experience going to a land and seeing how everyone plays on a land. I think it was really eye opening, too, to see, like, all the different comps and, like, yeah. how, yeah. how, like, these comps, if you know what you're doing, like, you could win with any comp. Considering the horrible start we had, it's good. <laughs> like it's good, yeah. but like we're not happy with sixth place. So. Yeah. No sir. I don't. None of us care about the money. Like for sixth place, we just want to win. Yeah. We love you guys. Yeah. Hope you enjoy the of show. Of course, we love you guys. We appreciate you guys like sticking along even when we lose. Yeah. You, know, I know you, it, you know, it's like supporting any type of team in NFL or NBA and like watching them lose. Um, so it's nice for you guys to stick around even though you know we can't win all the time. So yeah. thank you guys yeah. for always Definitely. being there for us when we're down. You know.
Thank yeah. you guys. Yep, the best fan base. No one competes. Easily the best fan base. Yes, Easily. Thanks, you guys.